to uh, celebrate the anniversary, the friendly folks here at CBS said, Dave, you know what we would like to do? We would like to produce a biography about you and your life and your activities. So they were, they did. They did a great job. Here it is now, ladies and gentlemen, the Dave Letterman story. Maurice David Letterman was born in Indianapolis, Indiana on April 12, 1947. David caught the acting bug early on, landing a commercial by the age of three. I'm not going to try it. Let's get Mikey. Yeah. He likes it. He likes it. His mother, Dorothy Letterman, remembers David as a spirited youth. And as a child, he always wanted to be the center of attention. When the family was over for the holidays, he would gather us in the living room so he could perform for us. Watching him made us sad. I remember David when he was uh, 11 or 12 years old. He wanted a pony more than anything. And he kept asking his mom every day, please, mom, can I have a pony? And his mom would say every day, I'm sorry, David, ponies are too hard to take care of. Well, he kept on her and he kept on her and Sure enough, Christmas morning, there was the most beautiful pony you ever saw with a large red ribbon on him. Three days later, the pony was dead. It was dehydration or something. But, you, you know, if you ask me, I, I don't think it's a great idea to be buying a pony in Chinatown. I left it just the way it was. Here are some of his model cars and his junior high basketball trophies his penance. Oh, and here's his first baseball glove. He loved playing Little League. He was the youngest child on his Little League team and he got 300 that year. At Broad Ripple High School, David received average grades, excelling only in woodshop, where he dazzled teachers and classmates alike by constructing a replica of Mount Rushmore using only popsicle sticks and thumb -tops. David spent his summer stocking shelves and bagging groceries at the Atlas supermarket. Dave was a hard-working kid. He wanted to be the assistant manager, and I picked a kid by the name of Vinny Favalli instead. Well, he was absolutely crushed. <laughs> That's a lot of crap. He could bag, he could work the register, but he just couldn't stack like Vinny. I could stack like a son of a bitch. I always thought there was more to it than that, you know? What do you mean by that? Uh, I think they were having an affair. My personal feelings toward Benny did not influence my decision. <laughs> David went on to Ball State University where he created a nightly radio show called All Things Yellow. Banana, school bus, the sun, mustard, lemon, Lemonade. <laughs> Dave's college radio show, piece of crap. After a brief stint as a local weatherman, David headed west to break into the world of stand-up comedy. Many people don't know this, but Dave is in fact one of the Baldwin brothers. And when we found out that he was going to go into show business, we asked him if he wouldn't mind performing under a different name. Why was that? Look at us and look at him. You figure it out. It wasn't just his comedic debut that made 1976 a special year for David Letterman. I met Mia Farrow at a party uh, at a friend's home, uh, and two weeks later we were married, and uh, honestly it was the happiest time of my life. For the thousandth time, you know, I'd, I'd like to go on record. Um, I was not married to David Letterman. I, I didn't even know David Letterman. In 1980, David was hired to host a morning talk show, which, despite critical acclaim, was canceled after just two months. The, the cancellation of the morning show left a, uh, left a hole, a pretty big hole in my life. And, and, I, and I think looking back on it, I, 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 I tried to fill that hole with uh, pie, uh, a lot of pie. He withdrew from his family, his friends, and his partners. 
There was only one man who could pull him out of the abyss, and that was his best friend, Donny Osmond. You know, uh, sometimes when uh, you uh, can't help you, you need a friend uh, to help you, and Donny Osmond is my friend. Back in control, David was given a fresh start as the host of Late Night with David Letterman. The show would run for 11 years and featured some of the most talked about moments well, uh, in television history. Night, I mean, there's so many things. There was the, uh, uh, like the Velcro suit. Uh, and then we had a, had a camera uh, mounted on a monkey. Uh, and, and we used to drop uh, stuff off that five-story tower. At late night, David was surrounded by a talented staff and crew. David Letterman is a no-talent loser. I mean, look at him. He's like poultry in a suit. You are disguising my voice, aren't you? Yeah, okay. okay. Anyway. He can kiss my Canadian ass. You know? In 1993, David Letterman left NBC and signed a deal with CBS, estimated by some to be worth $50,000 a year. David has many cherished memories of The Late Show. One time, a couple of years ago on my birthday, uh, Drew Barrymore uh, got up on uh, the desk and uh, took her shirt off. Uh, and then another time, Drew Barrymore got on my desk and took her shirt off. And uh, my favorite time of all was when Drew Barrymore got up on my desk and took her shirt off. On May 1st, 1994, David Letterman died. Just close my eyes, yeah. All of America mourned the loss of their gap-toothed funny man. You know, it, it, uh, it really was too bad I had to uh, go so young, you know, cut down like that on the time. It's too bad.